it this weekend, baby. A mess, okay. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, guys. I am, I am currently about to just make some eggs and bacon right quick and a coffee. I haven't eaten anything all day. And if you're new here, my name is Tanisha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And listen, listen, listen. March memories is over, baby. March memories is over over and i want to say like i'm excited but i'm low-key excited because struggle struggle was real the struggle was very real i had two eggs already um and sorry that's my washer that you hear i had two eggs already in this bowl here but i'll just add one more since all i'm eating is eggs and um bacon for breakfast because I don't feel like making anything else so yeah I'm just doing eggs and um eggs and bacon that's it that's it that's all oh no I already got that what am I doing oh but yeah because I am hungry You guys can comment and let me know how you liked, you know, my March memories and all that good good jazz. Have you guys watched my um, my house tour, home tour, uh, my Timu haul? Just have you been watching the, watching my vlogs? I know I'm not sure who it is, and I appreciate you so much and I love you. But it's one person like, uh, and I don't know it could be a different person, but. When I drop a video, like if I don't get no other view, I get one view. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate you because it comes like shortly after I drop. So that means someone, you know, have their notification on and when I drop, they watch me. And I I love that. If it's just one person, like, y'all don't understand, I love that. Like that, I get a little emotional. Just think about like, if you just got one solid person the others are going to come and I believe that and I'm and I'm holding on to that and I'm waiting on when when soon as I drop I can get a thousand views you know in the first 10 minutes or you know or less or something like that but I, I see you whoever you are I see you I see that one view every time I see it I, I see it and I love it but um but yeah just let me know um how you guys like uh, March memories and all that stuff so i'm back to <laughs> my weekly vlog or if i break it up because sometimes i do like a vlog and then do some type of content on thursday because my, my my days are sundays and thursdays or oh, and if i drop a um a misha monday that will be like on a monday or so monday tuesday ish <laughs> if i'm running behind on it but um but yeah that's that's my my upload days but yeah, so I wasn't getting my eyebrows arched today, but I'm not because um, I just, I'm not, I feel like I'm okay with it. Um, I don't really need it right now. And and then plus my girl gonna be out. She won't be back until like the eight. So let me, let me, let me, let me call y'all back because my, my wash should be, she be egging up. I'm bad because you know my washer you know how think people like your kids want to show off when you're on the phone or when you have company that's what my washer was doing knowing good and well i had company and y'all want to stop making all that damn noise child don't know how to act don't know how to act I'm just acting up when i had company in the house wasn't doing that before I turned, before I picked y'all up, wasn't making all that noise. 
Now when I get company, now they want to come out and make all the noise in the world to let y'all know I'm here. Just like some kids. But yeah, I um I'm just making me a quick little breakfast because I am a little hungry. Oh, did I tell y'all I think I'm gonna start? Uh, yeah, I did. I'm gonna start. Um, these squirrels having a good damn time in my backyard. This is not a playground. But you know, I'm going to see if I can insert the video. Last night, like, my camera went off in my backyard. And usually, like, I haven't seen, it's a black cat that's always in my yard. And I haven't seen that cat in a long time. But last night, I thought it was the cat. So, and I usually just, like, look back. And it wasn't the cat. It was um these two big dogs. I mean, it was, like, some months ago. It was, like, one big dog. This is like, months ago. This is probably last year sometime. But last night it was there was a it had a friend, and that dog was big. And see, I don't go outside at night, but it was eleven o'clock at night too. But still, um, they were huge. And like and as you can see, my backyard is not fully fenced off. What the hell? Oh shit! I know what I did wrong. <laughs> I forgot this eye was too hot, and I put oh y'all can. I don't know if y'all can see my face, but that shit scared me. Because I just took the eye off when I was cooking the eggs. And when I took the, um, oh, calm down, girl. I took the, um, the bacon out the oven. And I put it on there. And it, <laughs> and it was, I guess, because it was still kind of hot. So it was kind of still burning. But yeah, I'm, oh, I'm about to make me some coffee. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, that thing scared me. Oh, y'all don't understand. They scared me. Had a mini heart attack. But yeah, I'm about to get this, um, I'm getting this ice and I'm about to make me a little coffee. But yeah, today is just a rainy day for sure. Um, I did not get a picture so I could show y'all, um, because like I told y'all in the last vlog, she um she had oh hot she had um they had the red carpet thing at school. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a picture when she got get home, but Peyton be acting funny. But I had um because I got yo yeah because y'all did y'all saw the um back when she did that fashion show at her um at school for her aftercare, and she had another dress which I the fur she had over her shoulders, so she got the fur again. Just a different type. Honestly, the outfit is still the same. It's just a different dress. Because she was going to wear these other, like, little flat shoes. Um, that would have been cute. But when it was raining, I had her put on her knee boots um, because of the rain. But other than that, she would have had on them um, those flats. But she was so cute, though. And she had her hand up, uh, half up, half down. But my baby do not like the way earrings. But, you know, she said it be hurting her ears. And I, I had to possibly buy Peyton some real earrings and... Like, really keep up with it. Because she's like me. Because, like me, I can't really um, put fake earrings in my ear. Because it will start to hurt. And I, I'm never... I'm going to show y'all. Brace yourself. If you can see here how my ears is. Yeah. It's... um That happened over the years of me, you know, I guess wearing fake earrings. And I would sleep in my earrings and, like, have them on the whole time. But I don't do that now. Like, I literally take my earrings out. Because if I keep them for so long, I think it starts to, like, eat at my flesh or something. Because it'll, like, hurt. Because I just remember now that I have this result here on this one ear. I just remember, like, growing up. remember, like, my ear would kind of hurt a little bit. But I just really didn't, you know. But, yeah, I think it was that. And I think Peyton got that as well. Because she, if she have earrings in, baby girl could take it out. Because she said it hurts her ears. So, I need to invest in some real earrings for her. And maybe she might wear them more often but I do try to like stick ear earrings in there because I don't want her holes to close up but my baby don't wear no earrings honey she do not she cannot stand it so but she's she's still cute nonetheless but um but yeah I have to make this coffee like I said they didn't have my other coffee so I gotta use this one um I mean well, this one is fine too but you know I like using the other one and this is the only coffee I use unless I, um, 
like work with uh javi coffee i said i was gonna buy some on my own but yeah i like that coffee as well that concentrated coffee yeah so get a little bit of coffee and my creamer the only kind i drink the caramel macchiato that's the only kind i don't drink no other coffee and then i was finishing up um i was watching chelsea and i think after chelsea who who else i need to go watch that i haven't i need to catch up on ruka but sometimes there's so many people that i try to like you know keep up with and it can be hard so But yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And finish up work. Breakfast is served. Now we talked about I was just going to drink half. This was really good. Oh, I got to send my mama the... I will be watching. Good morning, good morning. It is Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. Today is a half a day for the kids and it starts spring break. So spring break has started. Um, and with that being said, <laughs> um, we're not really doing anything this year because last year we went to Myrtle Beach. But this year, um, we're going to do like a stay uh, um, at home, like, you know, cause I'm off of work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to do home. Oh, my light is dying. <laughs> I didn't plug it up. And it's probably going to keep dying. Cause it's going to take me a minute of what I got to say to y'all. Let me see something. I hope that's better, but, um, it is, um, yeah, I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we're going to do things each day. Um, I kind of want to charge my light and then come back. I'll be back. Hold on. Okay, you guys. So, I'm back. I had to go let my light charge up because I needed my light. But, um, I can't really remember what I was saying. But, happy Thursday. It's Thursday. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a great morning. Um, yeah, I was going to introduce about, well, no, this is a continuance. I, this vlog every day had me, like, uh. Yeah, but I don't know if I even introduced it the last time or maybe not. I don't know, but welcome to a new vlog. Um, yeah, so today, what I came on here for earlier, I almost kind of forgot. Darn it. But I had to come and tell y'all something because, oh yeah, I remember now. Dropping my baby off at school this morning, because like I said, it's a half a day. Um, well, early dismissal, whatever you want to call it. But... It was really no one in the line um, this morning. I was like, oh, people must be already starting spring break. Oh, yeah, I was telling y'all about spring break, but I think I did get that out. But um, people was, um, yeah, it was nobody in the line. So I was like, oh, you know, let me, let's go or whatever. So the car in front of me, it was a car in front of me. Then it was another car. And that car was kind of sitting there. And I'm like, it's not even 750 yet. Like, so why, you know, they parked. But anyway. The car in front of me, I saw when this person, because Peyton got out the car, you know, did I little spill, have a good day, love you, do good, you know, all that stuff. And so, because um, Peyton was like, I'll sign myself in. I was like, you don't need to be signing because it's not 750 yet. The car in front of me, she got out the car 
got out of her car and came around. So she was the um, passenger side in the back, back seat. So I'm thinking, I was like, okay, maybe she about to, you know, get a small child out to take them into school. So I sat there like a minute or two. So I'm sitting there because like the barriers were right there on the side. I could not go around her. I couldn't back up cars behind me. Cars were behind the other car. Like we basically, only thing we could do was go forward. So I sat there for a minute. I wasn't going to say nothing, but mm, yeah. Um, excuse me. Um, I said, are you, are you going to go inside the school? And she said, um, no, she, I think she said no. So, but I could have seen, she was like, almost like looking like beyond, like looking like, like go around or something like that. And I was like, cause you know, I said, we can't get out or whatever. Like, and then she was like, I'm getting her out of the car or something like that. Right. So I just got back in my car and I was like, I, I was like, well, you park for that. I don't know if she heard that part, but I was like, you park for that or whatever. And I said, I got in the car and closed the door and I was just sitting there. And I'm waiting. It wasn't long after that. But um, I'm waiting. I saw the child got out the car. Do y'all want to know? The child that got out the car was taller than my baby. Ma'am, why did you park to and walk around to help that to aid that child? Like, if y'all didn't get fully dressed at home, that is not our problem. You park in the parking lot. And then you get out and walk to the door. Like... And I hate sometimes like being that person. And when somebody's in the wrong, they're always the one to seem to have an attitude. One thing, I, and I don't know if it's just me. Like certain situations, I think about the people around me. I'm aware of my surroundings. Like when those barriers, because it gets to a point. Once you get to that point, you cannot go nowhere only thing you could do is forward go forward because that's just how they have it blocked off so nobody can't because and i see why they did it because in the past what people would do when it's like kind of jammed up they will go around so when you're doing that you're getting in the way of the people that park in the parking lot getting in line because and when it's heavy it's a line for the for the drop off the kids to walk to the school and then the parking lot so the people that park in the parking lot those will be the people that will be to the line on the side to the left because they're, the parking lot is to the left, the school is to the right. So they did those barriers, and I and I get it. So once the once you get to a certain point, you can only move forward. That's it. Unless there's nobody behind you, and then you can back up. But if his car start to pile up, you have to go forward. But yeah, and then the son, she was like talking like under her breath. I was like, when people in the wrong, y'all have the biggest attitude. I don't understand. Like me, I would never. Only time I will get out of my car to go inside that school if it's after 7.50. Because once it's after 7.50, everybody got to get out of their car. Because you got to sign your kid in. And then, depending on sometime that 7.50, if it's a line behind me, 7.50, oh no, my baby getting out. I'm not well, I'm not signing her in. Because it's a line of, of parents that need to drop their kids off. So nobody is really going in and signing their kid. Because it could have been something going on that morning. But yeah, and I know I am talking fast, y'all. And I'm... But let me know, parents out there who dropped their kids off to school as a car rider, please comment down below and let me have you ever experienced this mess. Because I was in this car rider game for about, what, five years? But real heavy the past three years. Because when my baby went to kid, well, 4K. COVID happened, so that school term had ended. But then with that school, she was at another school, and it wasn't that bad. But with this school, um, kindergarten was kind of COVID. And so we only had like a month or two of doing the car rider thing. And then the full first, second, and third. So, yeah. But at that, it was so crazy. It was so crazy to me. Like, she's about to get an attitude when it's her fault. Girl, get if you don't move but um oh and another thing i did see i went on google that was on my other phone though i don't know if it'll come up on this one and um let me see did it come up is it on here well on my other phone i took a picture so i insert it but they were saying how um mcdonald's what did it say someone mcdonald's to add Krispy cream donuts to the menu hmm get Krispy Kreme donuts from Krispy Kreme but yeah but they had a, a it was a thing I'll just have to um insert it because I did take a picture the steak egg and cheese bagel is making a comeback baby 
making a comeback. And I'm so excited because I'm still waiting for the one here in my location to come back. Because I know the one back home where I'm from is already there. Because my cousin went this morning because I told her about it. But um, but I'm excited. Okay. I am excited because I love me McDonald's steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Comment down below and let me know if you ever had one. And tell me how you like it. And if you have it, go get it. Because that is the only breakfast sandwich I used to get from McDonald's until they cut it. I think it was gone for about... Maybe almost five years, four to five years, I think. Because I want to think they stopped it in like 2019. 2019, maybe 2020. So like four to five years, I think, when they stopped. Because I think I remember getting it in 2019. So it's like around that time. But yeah, McDonald's steak, egg, and cheese bagel is making a comeback. I don't know who um who made the order for them to bring it back, but I'm thankful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But no, and then, of course, the whole mess in the media. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. The Diddy thing. When it comes to, for me, when it comes to certain things with with these allegations and all that stuff, um, having, a, having a think piece about it, it really doesn't matter. Because... If you weren't around this person 24-7, if you haven't really experienced that person in a certain light, you really can't talk about it. My thing with Diddy, whatever they're saying, I didn't even read up on it because, I mean, I honestly could care less. Because the only thing I care about is if you, whatever they say you did, if they can find you guilty, find evidence, go to jail. That's it. Uh, people, oh, well, I didn't think he, he, he didn't seem like this or he, he wouldn't do that. To Excuse me. I'll never say what somebody wouldn't do. I wouldn't say what my child wouldn't do. The only thing you can hope that someone won't do something, but you're not there. You're not right there beside them 24 seven. So my thing is with the thing with Diddy, if he did it, he go to jail. If he did it, you can find him to find the evidence, find him guilty. He goes to jail because some people that make a lot of money, they can be very weird. Okay. Because when you have so much money that you can get anything that is a monetary like that, you think you, you, cause you can then think you own people. And a lot of people do that. So all these rich people up there, allegations coming out, people saying this, saying that. If you find them, if you can find them guilty, evidence and all that stuff, put their ass in jail. That's it. Go to jail. Time's up. Go to jail. That's it. That's all I have to say with the thing with Diddy. I'm not going. It's nothing to sit here and try to defend that or whatever when you weren't there. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. And even the thing with this saying with um with Carisha or whatever and all that, I mean, if you did it, I mean, you, you like if you do the crime, you got to do the, the time. Like what? Like people, some some people be feeling they're untouchable, and that's the problem. Like I'm not gonna do no illegal shit, and especially if you get away with something one time. Oh, okay. But y'all will keep getting away with it. Y'all just keep going. No. Mm -mm. I don't, uh uh. Orange look good on me, but not the jail orange. <laughs> not that jumpsuit. Not that, no. Like, uh uh. Y'all, if you can find him guilty, put him in jail. Period. I was going in the refrigerator to get that salad, but then I saw this moldy cheese and it needs to go in the trash. And I have some other cheese that is about to expire that I think we're going to throw in the trash. This one here expired on the 24th. It is the 28th. I'm going to put that in the trash. And this one here expires to tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to put them in the trash anyway because I'm not going to cook a macaroni anytime soon. And this is when I cook macaroni. I'm probably going to throw this one away too. So all this cheese. That's why sometimes I don't like to buy cheese. Because I buy like three different types of cheese for my macaroni. But they got to go in the trash. Yes. Oh my gosh, how disgusting. And yeah, that's it. Cause I use Fiesta blend all the time. And then this one says June. 
but hopefully it doesn't expire. Not expire, but go bad because that other cheese didn't expire. It was April, but you know when it's already open and stuff. So let me close that up. That's it, and I'll have to throw away this stuff because these condiments up here, I'm just gonna get them and throw them all in the trash, except probably like the ketchup because I know the ketchup is more recent. But yeah, I'm about to clear this out and throw all this in the trash now. It's cleared out. That's it. That's all. All the condiments at the bottom of the trash can where it belongs. So I'm on my way to go get Peyton. And I usually don't leave. Like, I don't be there before the time they get out. I usually leave a little bit after that because it's always a line. So, yeah. I don't ever leave right away so um oh yeah today is oh oh my arm oh the strap of my purse scared me today is the 11th anniversary of my granny's passing and yeah i miss that lady i swear i do i miss her i miss her so much like so so much and like sometime I wish my baby would have been able to meet her because she was a joy love like she just my granny and the thing about it like my granny passed in 2013 um, the 28th of March the next year of her one year anniversary i remember that day like i was i mean like sometimes i have my moments like i can, I can probably go all day today and possibly not cry but then catch me next week you know i'll be crying about it or something but that's just how grief is you know and um the next year or her her one year anniversary um I was like I was crying so much. I mean I mean like it was it was kind of like the first time I found out, you know, like just being so sad that morning and like 4 days later I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> you know, so I was just like I went I mean yes I was sad for my granny but it was just different. And you know, and when I found out that I was pregnant, like it kind of like all made sense. But yeah, I found out I was pregnant a year after um, my granny's passing, but not a year to the date. Now, I think if I had took a pregnancy test, <laughs> I probably would have known then, you know, because of course I was already pregnant. But like a few days later, I um, I found that I was pregnant. But um, but yeah, <laughs> I was. Just, it was just so like that that day. Like when I think about it, I was. I mean, it was crazy but yeah i just wish she would have been able to meet my baby even if it was a well no i was like you know, even if it was for a little while because i still you know wanted more time we all you know do especially you know how your loved one passed and even if they're sick you know still you still you want more time or even when they were old you know old like 90 something you know you're still gonna want more time but um but yeah so miss her but i'm on my way to get paid in um oh crap i left it because it was a um oh i probably can go back by and get it but oh, oh we might go later because peyton wanted krispy kreme donuts today and i have a um a certificate for a free um donuts you know all the kids with the fundraising stuff because see back in the day you used to have a whole bunch of box of donuts to deliver but now you could get them delivered if you want or you know usually a lot of people opt for the certificate where you just go to Krispy Kreme at your leisure and get them so but back in the day oh baby if you don't get out the yellow line idiot but back in the day baby donuts on donuts on donuts you know had to deliver those things and stuff but um 
But yeah, but I'm not really doing anything today. Like this, this vlog is gonna be very what well, all my vlogs. I'm pretty sure possibly boring, but this one, I'm not really doing anything. That's the thing. Um, yeah, because I know Saturday, um, my aunt is having something at her home, and um, yeah. That's really it. Because I'll be going home tomorrow. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of talking. Like I say, this this is going to be a talking vlog. Yeah, a talking vlog. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm probably going to call it. Talking vlog. Um, yeah. But let me go get paid and let me see. Is it a line? I hope. See? Is it? Yep. It's crazy. It is crazy how we still gonna have a line on the side of the road, which I hate. But yeah. Okay, so we're back from Dollar General, inside Dollar General, and I wanted to try these, um, can you get it for me? The little, it's these, um, I don't know if you guys saw, I did the, uh, they had little mini apple pies. I've never seen that before. Look at it. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. What you got? I saw these and then I wanted to try it. Little Oreo Kicksters. So, no, 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 I was told the apple pie. I, I don't eat apple pie. I was showing them they got a little box of mini apple pies. Oh. And I thought that was pretty cool if you are an apple pie lover. But yeah, I want to try these little um, Oreo Kicksters. Let me see. I'm going to try it with y'all right now. Ooh. Soft bake. Look at that. These taste like it's something. I can't put my finger on what it is, but these taste like something. But they're a nice little, little sweet treat. You want hot? Yeah. I just want to show you it. It's like a cake. Peyton says cake too. <laughs> and I oh, want to. It looks like one of those things from um. I can't remember what it's called either, but I know you had it. So it smells like I don't want to try it. Cause I, cause I, cause I, cause I don't like anything like cake. It's not, like the little it's good. Debbie's thing. It's something. Little Debbie's. It's not from Little mm. Debbie's. You're right. The zebra cakes. Mm -mm. The fudge rounds. Oh, yeah, the fudge rounds. This tastes like the fudge round. That's what it is. Cause I'm like, when she said it, it almost like, yeah, it tastes like fudge round. But, um, comment down below and let me know if you try it. But, be going home. I'm going to talk to y'all later. <laughs> Peace. So, Wendy's is partnering with Cinnabon. That's on the back. Maybe it's coming. I'm not sure. 
But yeah, that's at Wendy's. And did you guys see what McDonald's is about to start selling? No, I think I told y'all that already. Yes, I did. Wendy's, I did not even show y'all. Wendy's have a new um, Frosty. It's a dreamsicle. And it is so good. But I don't know why. Wendy's needs some new straws because I don't know how they be wanting us to drink this straw out of, um, drink this Frosty out of this straw. I mean, it's a task, but baby, it can get done. But yeah, I just want to show y'all that. You're not gonna um think it's dark. I'm trying now. See, just like whipped cream. I wonder what 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 when, when these but do they do it to their frosty? Do they get cool whip and then do they dye it? We'll never find out. The best way to eat Wendy's um, Frosty is with a spoon. But I mean, you can drink it out of the straw, but it's some work. But this Dreamsicle, orange Dreamsicle is good. I don't necessarily have to get it again because I'm really not a sweets person, but we wanted to try it. But look at me, you can't put it down. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you tried it. Because it's good. It's really nothing to it. Like Peyton said, it does taste like whipped cream. And then you'll kind of like taste a little like orange thing. Because see, I um wanted to try it because if you guys know the uh, ice cream. Because <clears throat> I know when we was younger, I used to have like um ice cream parties. Like if you was good on the bus, like if your bus got... um. It was something in school. I think it was like our bus or whatever. We'll get this ice cream party or it was something. And it was the, the ice cream with the orange on the outside and the cream in the inside. When I saw this, that was when I saw the advertise. That was the first thing that came to mind. And it does kind of put you in the mind of it. Cause that comment down below and let me know if y'all know that ice cream. Cause I'm gonna um, look it up and see if I can insert a picture of it. But it's orange on the outside. And the white cream on the inside. And when I tell, oh, we used to, ooh. Well, I know I used to love when we used to get them parts. That's the kind of ice cream they would give us. But, yeah. Good. Real good. But let me go. These cargo hands are super cute. Young girl don't want that back calling me splurge Drop me jump right on the curb yeah. Bet this right fly like a bird Spin on the first and the third yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard yeah. Crack up the phone, I swear Keep me a stick if they purge yeah. I don't want that they working my nerve. I'm about to pause and serve. Fucking this bitch like a purse. All right, you guys. So we're back. We're, oh, no, I didn't tell you. I went to Walmart. I ran to Walmart real quick because I needed to. I got my, um, because a few vlogs back, I got my dryer. And, um, like, I was, I forgot to call the guy because I wanted to see, like, how the dryer works and stuff. But I felt like my, um, my dryer line needs to needed to be um cleaned. So the guy came and um cleaned it today. Like actually he like just left a few minutes ago. But um when I got off work, ran to Walmart real quick because I wanted to get um because if you guys um know like outside, like you know how the dryer line it blows outside, the covering my covering came down a while ago and I kept saying, Oh, I'm gonna put it up, I'm gonna put it up. But when he was coming, I was like, perfect timing for me to go get some um the Gorilla Glue, they say it's, it's the same thing as like, is it E600? Or, yeah, I think so. E6000, something like that, whatever that is. They say it's like compatible, whatever to that. And then plus it was like waterproof and all that stuff because it was going to be outside. So he put that up. Excited about that. But that's not why we're here. I've, I've seen these a while. I went inside Walmart the other day and I saw them, but I really didn't have a taste for it. Then I saw a... A friend of mine on Snapchat was talking about them, and I was like, hmm, I think I want to try them. So, we ran in Walmart real quick today, 
Uh, oh yeah, and I showed you guys some um, Walmart pieces. I think I'm going to um, do like one of them Target haul things, but it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on TikTok for sure. But I'll probably end up. Um, I'll just show y'all the video on the vlog, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it um, on TikTok. I'm gonna go inside Target and I'm gonna go inside Walmart and like try the things on and to let you guys see how it fits on my thick body, you know? So yeah, but now, while we're here. So. We wanted to try these. I seen these hit the street not too long ago. And yeah, I just, honestly, I seen somebody else said something about them and then I saw them in Walmart a few days ago and then someone else talked about it. They were good, so, so I wanted um, to try them. So those red fries, they look like the Andy's version of hot fries. Yeah, so let's... And, let, and, and comment down below and let me know if you guys try these. And, I, and, I don't, and if I don't like it, that's okay because I don't eat red. <laughs> it's mine. Oh, this... No, it smells fine. Let's... let's let me see. Want to take some bitch? Just like half fries, but not red. No one can use it too good. They are good. You don't like them? Probably not. It's just like salt. I can't put my finger on it. This is like the Cool Ranch Doritos. Mm-hmm. I can see it. Mm-hmm. And I don't really like the Cool Ranch Doritos. I don't like Cool Ranch Doritos either, and neither do I like this, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with that. It's not terrible, but I don't have to get them again. And it's, any snacks that I don't like, I'll give it to her. That's how I go whack. Yeah, but... <laughs> want to try these with you guys, and... I give it a 1 out of 10, what do you think? I mean, I'll give it about an 8. Mm-hmm. But see, sometimes you got to be the type of person that likes certain things. If you don't like it, the stuff is going to be nasty with me. I'll try certain things once. It says creamy, tangy, zip. But yo, you almost kind of remind me of like the um, like sour cream or onion type of taste, too. If you like Cool Ranch Doritos, I advise you try Got it. creamy, tangy, zesty, and every bite. I was just trying to say that. Yeah. And the bag is so, um, it's turquoise. All like French onion dip. <laughs> yeah, that too. French onion dip. It expires four days after my birthday. But yeah, so just want to come and try these. Um, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. What? I'm at the big thing. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. I am coming to you guys this morning. It this weekend, baby. A mess, okay? Well, not a mess in my life. <laughs> a mess in my social media. <laughs> um, So, I went home this weekend like I was saying before. And my video was already exported. I had my video, everything, right? So, um, no, 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 no. I put my video out on Friday before I left. Yeah. So, that was just waiting just to go out. So, Saturday... Um, I think like Friday night, Saturday morning or something like that. Edit my video. Da, da, da. It was exported. Everything. I went to upload it because like I told you, I had something. I had a family um event this weekend. And, um, you know, I wasn't going to really be home. It, well, here anyway, because like, we had Wi-Fi at my parents' house. But I don't know if we don't have the same Wi-Fi because my video was not uploading quick enough. And then when I got to my aunt's house... 
her Wi-Fi said it was a little bit better, but I did not stay in YouTube. You know, when you upload a video, you got to kind of like stay in YouTube. I didn't even think about it because I really wasn't on my phone like that. So I could have like put a video on, put my phone in my purse type of thing and let it just be running. Didn't do that. So the video that was supposed to go up on Saturday did not go up. Well, it, the video just got cleared early this morning, like maybe two, three o'clock this morning. So when I saw it was like almost done, I just went, cause I didn't go to bed till late. Why? I don't know. But I changed the time for, um, I changed the time for, um, 12 o'clock. Cause I had the video, you know, the video was going out since Saturday. So it didn't go out on Saturday. It didn't go out on Sunday. And so like it, like I said, early Monday morning. So I just changed it to be, um, 12 o'clock. And, um, so yeah, it, the video that's supposed to come out on Saturday will come out 12 o'clock today, which is Monday. Why is this all up? Oh, so, um, yeah, so that happened. And then, um, then I was looking I was a vlog short. I thought I think I was a vlog short. So what I was going to do was combine Wednesday and Thursday and put it out. But when all this happened, I was like, you know what? Not going because I in my Wednesday and Thursday vlog, I would have to explain to you guys in there because I was like, you know, March memories is over. Da da da. But anyway, I'm just going to keep that, and that vlog probably not going to come out until um, Sunday. So that's still fine. And then I'm going to put out, I'm going to try to do Amisha Monday tomorrow. Because I wanted to do it today, but everything got so thrown. It was, yeah. So that one last March memory go out today at 12. I'm going to try to put that um hair um tutorial out or hair review tutorial, whatever. Because I bought a, a, a wig from Amazon and I did a like, review on it or whatever that'll probably go out to later on today like maybe five or six today and i'm gonna try to do the misha monday um am i like probably right again i'm gonna try to do the misha monday um on tomorrow and then put a vlog out on saturday i mean sunday and then kind of like just like go from there but i think i'm gonna end up putting an extra vlog somewhere in april but yeah, cause I was so, cause you know, I was saying like, I wanted 31 videos out, but when you run into internet problems, internet is a big deal, a huge deal. But yeah, so, I mean, I'm over it now. It's, it is what it is, but I just want to come and let you guys know what had been going on. And I haven't vlogged since, yeah, I haven't vlogged since Thursday. I mean, I have a few clips that I post cause when I went home, I did a, I did like, Cause like, cause, it, cause Saturday it was a, um, memorial for like my cousin. He, well, it was, um, 30 years since he passed, but Saturday was his 50th and his mom well, aunt wanted to, you know, do some with the family. We all come together. Cause like I already told you, March is a very tough month for us anyway. So, and I didn't even realize until later that him, his birthday is like two days before the passing of my grandma. Cause actually today, April Fool's 2013 was my granny's funeral and i always say like on april fools i just wish that day was a joke you know but it was and it was our reality so we always kind of like you know say that to my cousins and stuff but yeah april 1st was my granny's funeral so it's always like even april 1st is a day now that is a memory you know it's not april a joking day for me anymore you know nice than it was but it's just like that's i remember that day but um but yeah, so I did a few clips in there, so I'll like insert that. And then, um, what that was, Sunday? I did a few clips on Sunday, because I don't know, I was asking <clears throat> in the clip, I was like, um, do anybody eat dare meat? Because I had like a, a dare meat, pull sandwich like thing it was it was good though i put a little barbecue sauce on top honey and john durst bread maybe that's the best bread ever okay 
melt in your mouth for sure. But yeah, I'll insert that um, a few of those clips. But really, that's. Have y'all ever eaten deer meat? I have a double sandwich. I never drank one of these before. My mom had them. It doesn't taste that bad. With my deer meat sandwich. It, I really didn't vlog since um Thursday. Since yeah Thursday, I didn't vlog Friday. I didn't like I knew few that that it's only like two clips on Saturday, and maybe like two on Sunday. But um but yeah so happy Monday. <laughs> um but yeah I'm probably going to end up closing out the vlog today though. I just wanted to come and kind of wrap things up. But I was telling y'all how I was gonna cut my hair. Um I'm not. Um, I'm just going, cause I did kind of cut some inches off my hair just to, you know, I don't know what I was doing. I was just cutting down, but, um, like I said, I am going to use rich coal oil. So I started last night. So I'm going to see, you know, maybe like in like two months or so what it is and all that stuff. Cause I, I, I did a video of my hair when I first took them out. Then I did another one with me, how I kind of caught myself cutting it some, um, because I, I did get my fresh, fresh braids, you know, fresh braids. Cause you know, I have hair and I have my edges, so let's not get it twisted. But, um, but yeah, so, but I wanted to kind of like cut off some dead hair and see where this process takes me with using the oil consistently and all that kind of stuff. So, and trying to get my hair braided at least a month or two, cause I'll be holding these braids down, honey. Okay. Down, down. But, um. But yeah, if y'all hear that noise, that's my that's my chair. But yeah, so I just wanted to come in this morning, tell you guys good morning, um, and let you know what happened this weekend. And yeah, I'm probably about to go and try to see if I can find the steak, egg, and cheese bagel around here. So I'm gonna pick your bagel. So I'm on a hunt for McDonald's steak, egg, and cheese bagel. I'm about to try this one McDonald's, and if they don't have it, I'm about to try another one another time. Because I thought McDonald's breakfast was over at 10.30, but it over at 11, and it is 10.28. So I'm about to come here and see if they, if they have it. I'm gonna see if they have it. Um, yeah, they don't have a line, so let's see. We're on a hunt for a McDonald's steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Oh yeah, and I changed my wig, but I had to try to fix this wig a little bit. But um, so far, I love it though. I'll look at it in the description box. It's a wig from Amazon. It's a five by five, a 20 inch, and it's like $80. So I think that's a pretty good deal. And I think it's 150 density, but let's see if McDonald's have this bagel oh they have it it's on the menu look it's big i was so excited for my bagel why i want to eat my damn sandwich and the lady gave me a damn muffin not a bagel and i told her a bagel irritated but let me go back and get it I just got the right sandwich, y'all. Don't and now I have. To, I'm trying to see if I can find somebody to give that other sandwich to. Like sometimes I be seeing people up in this area, but I don't see nobody today because I'm not gonna eat that because I don't like that um that that bread. It's that it's that um no, it's not the McGriddle type. It's that like sourdough. Type. I don't mm -mm, I don't like that kind of bread. So I'm gonna try to see if I see somebody, anybody, somewhere. Um, but yeah, but I have my, the right sandwich right here and it's warm. So I'm going to eat it when I get home. I was going to try to eat it in a Chick-fil-A line, but I'm going to wait till I get home or uh, whatever. And I'm probably going to end up posting my tick of my talk in here. Cause I, I've been talking about it on TikTok for a while. So I'm probably going to, um, I'll just post my TikTok in here, but yeah, let me, let me go. I'm going to talk to y'all later. It's back and I'm about to get it. I'm so excited. Steak, egg, and cheese bagel, baby. I have missed you so much. I don't care about you other two, but this right here in the middle, 
showstopper. But I don't even think they had the other ones previously. I think it was just only the steak, egg, and cheese big, if I'm not mistaken. But she has some friends. That's cool. But I want you. So the steak, egg, and cheese um, bagel price went up. Seven dollars for just the sandwich. Are you dumb? But I'm gonna get it though. So I guess I am. <laughs> so I have my sandwich. I'm so excited. It's right here. I miss you so much. Let Let's try. This is not a bet. I gotta go back to McDonald's. So I finally had my sandwich. They gave me the wrong one at first. Crazy. But I miss her so much. Let's try it. Mm, mm, mm. Just like I remember. It's bad. I've gotten me more excited. I missed you. One thing I want to add, though, it's not as greasy as the last time. Like, grease used to be all in here. So that's a good thing because, baby, that grease, that bad. Y'all want to know what irritates me? If it's a light that is turning yellow, go. This truck in front of me, I literally was, like, on their ass because we were about to go through this light together. And they stopped. They did not go through the light. And I didn't see anyone either. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this sandwich. I mean, when I get back in my neighbor outside, I give it to his ass. Because it's usually, it's like, well, I already passed the area where usually with somebody be at. But it'd be a little bit later, though, when they be out here. So, maybe just not out here yet. But I'm going to try to see if I can pass it on to somebody. Because when I tell you I was about to eat that sandwich and I look the wrong bread. And that lady asked me, she said, a biscuit or a bagel? I said, a bagel. She said, oh, here. Excuse me, ma'am. But anyway, let me stop. My blog will be so long because this is me doing a lot of talking. I think the title of this blog was going to be um, a whole lot of talking. But, um, but yeah, let me go. Let me just serve and get home. I'll tell you. So, as I was in my neighborhood, well, I'm coming in my neighborhood, I saw some workers on the side of the road. I'm like, excuse me, um, McDonald's gave me the wrong sandwich. I'm going to just throw it away. But if you guys want it, you can have it. I don't know what they're going to do with it. That's not my problem. But I feel good giving it to someone. And then why I'm coming home and I heard this sound. So, I stopped to like this place that does air in the tire. I have a nail in my tire. But I have to get home though. So, I have to go back later. Um yeah so i had to get home so i'll just wear that later because i have to go to work i'll fix i'll figure this out later later but right now my my pressure is still good i can hear it and they do it for free but i just it's the time i just didn't have it. and then my food gonna get cold and then Peyton food gonna get cold don't have time so it's still good the place is not far from me so i'll just go back up there later probably later on in the day because I'm good. Unless when I get, um, crank my car up, it's flat. Then I'll just call Roadside Assistance because that's what I pay for. Okay, so the tire is fixed and the guy asked the same guy from this morning i said you was the guy from this morning right and he was like yeah i said see i told you i was gonna come back he's talking about i'm proud of you <laughs> he's proud of me for coming back i was like i was gonna come back and i was like my pressure never went down so that was a good thing but i didn't really live far from the place so i wasn't doing a whole lot of riding but that noise was just driving me insane but as you guys saw from the picture previously the clip previously that it was big but I might um, I have to see because I'll call back to where I got the tire from because I think my tire is under warranty and I'll just get a new one. But yeah, for right now, I'll stick with the pitch. 
but um yeah so that's done so i'm gonna call y'all back later later when it's time for me to close the vlog because i just be talking Quay, I ain't having this bite and like the third me go out take bitch